I'm Claire, I'm the Industrial Placement Manager at the School of Electronic Engineering and Computer Science at Queen Mary. So when the scheme initially started it was just students on a handful of computer science, computer science related degrees and now every student in the School of Electronic Engineering and Computer Science can take a placement year and also because we've got different students doing different degrees there's a wider range of roles that they're actually going into now. My time at the bank is spent uh, predominantly doing uh, development work, um, currently building a utility and apart from that I do a lot of support. So at eBay we, uh, we basically are part of two different teams working on different projects. Some of our work involves taking on legacy and like kind of processing into something new and something more current. So my core responsibilities are picking up customer tickets and writing custom solutions for our clients. Looking after Windows associated applications like Office um, and dealing with user feedback and metrics that we uh, get from that. So the job entails um, ultimately designing in-store displays for products and within that we're also asked to sort of do market research, um, go into shops, see what competitors are doing and report that back to the team and then towards the end of the placement the idea is that I'll be able to design these displays and see them implemented in stores. My main responsibility was uh, working in the Google Ads team, making a software tool based on HTML5 and JavaScript, which provides um, ads templates for key clients for Google. Um, in first year, I sort of I did a spring internship at JP Morgan, um, and then in the summer I went to IBM, and I felt that I wanted to do something a lot longer to get. The, to get the correct exposure to make to again to make sure that I was making the right decision. I first I did my research online, so I was searching for appropriate com companies in uh, job websites. I use a lot of the information that Claire, the industrial placement officer, sent through through email. Because she sent me many offers, uh, and I went to all the industrial year lectures. Uh, there were some uh, very nice presentations from employers from different industries. If I would have been given the opportunity in choosing different offers and jobs, I would say the most important one is what you can learn from it. I knew I didn't want to do development. Um, that was the key thing. We all know that there's, there's more to computer science than just development. Um, so I decided to go for this role. It was just something that kind of um, really interested me and it seemed to sort of tickle the boxes for things I was interested in. <laughs> uh, when I got my offer, um, I felt I've, I don't know, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I was so happy. <laughs> I was really happy and excited. Oh, I disturbed the whole entire lab. I got the phone call in the ITL. I was actually in the library, so I had to be quite quiet about it, but it was um, great and it was a big relief to have it all sorted. Working is quite different from uh, university, so when I started my placement, I felt that I had to adjust my um, lifestyle accordingly. It's just the way you go about working. It's just, it has to be a lot more fast paced. You have to adjust to what the team requires. Mainly like getting into a professional mindset, that's a bit challenging. But uh, it, it, yeah, you eventually get there. Going into my placement, um, my, my main expectation was to come out being a much better coder, which I think I've done. It's the experience. You know, you learn a lot about yourself when you work. You can deal, you deal with many varying different situations that you won't ever come across in university. I met many people there, networked in the different teams, um, did, uh, did at least two projects in less than three months uh, and I believe that was perfect for me. The main highlight um, of my time at the firm was sort of getting my code out into production, actually seeing users using what I had written. When you're applying for graduate jobs and doing those interviews when you talk about the, the technologies you learn during your industry placement which are state of the art and you know like best considered best practices in the industry that will be key for you to get the graduate role that you want. So um, I had the opportunity to go to New York to um, meet a client and work on a, on, a client, on a client issue on site for a week which was uh, one of the highlights. You also realize how many different jobs there are in the, in the industry 
Uh, I've been quite, uh, I actually work with not just software developers, but I work with like embedded testers, uh, designers, um, uh, product managers, and going from the business side to the uh, software developer side, there's, there's, a, there's a ton of new, new, new different roles that you can get. So even if you're on a computer science degree, it doesn't mean that you have to be a software developer. If you don't really like that part, you can take on a lot, a lot of different new jobs. And I didn't know this before uh, being on my uh, industrial placement. So I think the biggest doubt that I had was was that I was gonna I was gonna lose a lot of my friends because they would obviously graduate a year before I was gonna graduate. But this is actually not that important because overall the uh, experience in industry has been so beneficial and so awesome so far. So um, this uh, is not a great concern for me. Not having had much exposure to the world of technology pre-university, I, I sort of felt disadvantaged. I was afraid that I might not be good enough. I might be, um, I might not know uh, what to do <laughs> and um, how to uh, adapt to the working life. But eventually, I found out it's not that difficult, and um, everyone is learning all the time, not just me. So I found uh, this was a great opportunity for me to learn and grow. Uh, one thing that I felt like would come in my way was me being an international student. But thankfully, like as long as your industrial placement is a part of your course, you can you can work full time. All this uh, responsibility and all this uh, problem solving has helped me tremendously to um, essentially to learn how to learn and um, how to uh, cope with different problems. And I think this is going to be very beneficial for my final year. I feel much more confident in my abilities now and I really think I'm going to be able to finish my tasks in my final year much better than I used to be in my previous years at university. I'm actually going to continue working here even when my placement is finished. Uh, I'm going to be doing a part-time internship. Uh, actually, it's connected to my final year project, so I'm going to be doing a sentiment analysis of the help desk tickets I've been working on the whole year. And uh, I think this is uh, going to be a really exciting and challenging project again. I think it will benefit me in my final year because it will give me um, a sort of strong appreciation of how things I'm learning in uni can be applied in real life um, in more of a job scenario. And I'm hoping also a kind of break from my studies will make me appreciate that more so I'll work a bit, more hard, a bit harder kind of thing. And yeah, just giving me a sense of how things I'm learning can be applied in the real world start thinking about it even before you come to university but definitely once you start university in your first year you're going to have to start making applications early in your second year and you'll feel much more confident about that, those applications if you've actually done something in your first year. It doesn't have to be a formal pr uh, placement or an internship, it can be getting involved with societies, it can be an unpaid two-week job shadowing in the in the summer it can be um, developing your own website or creating your own online portfolio learning a new programming language in your holidays and things like all of that sort of stuff is really valuable not just for the employer because the employer likes to see that sort of thing but also for the student to develop and grow and to become more confident and to understand their skills more so I would say it's never uh, too early to start thinking about where you might want to do that placement and to start preparing for that so it's not like a big deal in your second year and you're ready for it. Yeah? Is that all right? Beautiful day. You got the questions written down? You didn't even tell me them. Very good, Duncan.